Okay, so we've received the email from Print Central. Uh, the subject is email to myself, and we've clicked the link, and this is where it's led us. And so we're going to go and download the software that uh, is on this page for our PC. And so we're going to click here on the WePrint Helper for Windows 7, XP or Vista. And we're going to go ahead and we've got another window here. We're going to go ahead and run this software. It's downloading it. And it's asking us about a uh, unknown publisher. We're going to go ahead and run it anyway. And in just a couple minutes, what I'm assuming is happening is it's going to ask us for which printer we want to install this for. A couple other pages here. We print installer, installation directory, that's fine. And we're going to go ahead and install this. Agree to the license. Do you wish to install reprint now? Okay. It's giving us a couple little messages here. We print. We want to allow access. And we're going to allow it on domain networks. And you know this PC is a PC. We don't have to worry about. Uh, it's always going to be a domain network. If we had a uh, network where it was at home, I think this is where we'd use it. And public networks, it's a PC. It's not a laptop, so we don't have to worry about that either. So we're going to allow access. And basically, I doubt you'll ever use it in a public setting. Um, a domain for work usage is where you'd you'd use it most often I would think or if you're at home and you don't have a domain you've got a printer winged off of a uh, PC that you have or a laptop that you have you would also select this uh, private network we'll go ahead and select the private network too um, although I don't think it's going to make a difference all of our printers are actually on the domain so we're going to allow access now we've got a message here these settings can also be set with the settings button Okay, um, we are going to start it when Windows boots up, and we will allow file sharing. We may end up changing that depending on how we use the software and how often we use the software. We may end up changing it so that um, we only turn it on when we actually uh, need to print something. I guess it depends on the memory footprint of this actual program. So we'll keep those settings as defaults. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, choose what's used for sharing. We're just going to put this on the desktop. Say OK. I'm sure if we start to use it a little more and uh, we need to actually find a better spot for it, we can go ahead and do that. And so this is what comes up now. Server port is 8080. Uh, we don't have to worry about that because this is all local on our network, so the firewall has been opened. If we had a uh, network we wanted to remote print to, I suppose we could do that too, but then this would be an actual uh, public IP address, and we'd have to open up our router to put in this server port. Let's uh, take a look at what is on the, uh, the iPad itself and see what we have to do. Well, let's take a look at what's happening on the iPad device. So we'll open up Print Central. And we'll take a look at shared. Let's see what's in here. Shared just looks like local files. I think what's in these items here are local files. So let's go into uh, getting started. This is our test file. This is where the help files are, are also. Oh, I think I clicked the archive. Let's get into the getting started. And now this print button here uh, becomes active and available. So let's click on that and see what happens. Uh, no printer selected. Let's go to choose. And it actually lists the printers that are on that PC. And so 
what we'll do is we're going to choose the laser jet printer and we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the settings we're going to print from the top it doesn't have duplex uh, default paper tray we're going to go ahead and click on print now printing and let's see if it printed okay well that file did indeed print um, and it printed to our laser printer and so um, it seems to work now we have to figure out what is it that we're able to print and in just looking at it um, it looks like if we had files in here which I assume are going to be files or documents that we have on this actual device that maybe are in our shared folder so if we had something that uh, uh, maybe we sync this to two different computers we could use this to bring files back and forth or maybe to share um, places would be once it comes up here if it comes up well places might be the same same thing here oh places okay so places would be local files again shared which I believe is uh, that's the shared folder which would be our desktop um, Actually, that's what this Windows 7 home office would be, it sounds like. Yep. And it's going through and it's looking at all the files that are actually on our desktop, which is fine, but we'd print directly from our desktop. Uh, let's go into email. Email is uh, not going to get to our Exchange account, but possibly if we had an account that wasn't set up through Exchange, it may allow us to actually print from it although it looks like um, it will allow us to add an Exchange Outlook web access uh, account which is actually pretty nice um, so I'm sure we could go in here and put our settings in here and then bring that up we may do that uh, in another video so let's go back and let's take a look at the other items uh, we can go to web pages brings us to their page and I imagine the vehicle is just the same we can go ahead and hit print and then from there we can print from the screen or the address and so this is probably if we print from the screen I would imagine it's just going to give us whatever shown in the screen I guess we should test that we'll leave it just like that go ahead and hit print we'll do from the screen okay here's from the screen and we're printing to that printer which is fine let's go ahead and do that and then let's also try and print it again but this time we're going to print from the address and see what the difference is I imagine it's going to be exactly what I thought which was uh, you know printing the full page or simply printing what you can see in this page so we're going to print from the address and print again and we'll see which one works now contacts um, again I would imagine that if I had contacts in here this is a new uh, new device and so I don't have it fully set up for contacts yet so I imagine if I did have all sorts of contacts in here oh actually it's pulling in some of my exchange contacts so um, that looks like uh, that will actually work with an exchange mailbox at least for the contacts even though it's not pulling up the email um, for exchange and images I would imagine this is going to be photos um, see so we have okay this just has whatever saved photos we have and again we don't have a lot in here because it is a new device but I would imagine you'd be able to print anything that was in your photo album your clipboard uh, I would imagine that if you copied some text or a picture or an image from another program and it was in the clipboard it would also print here and then in settings we've got uh, auto check email we may go over setting that up after we set up Outlook Web Access uh, and that has been a demonstration of Print Central